G'day folks, this is Threads from Me Says here and I am 45 kilometers south of the center of Darwin and I am at the Strauss Airfield near Noonamah in the Northern Territory. Hang on a second, you're not the Night Watchman. What are you doing on a Night Watchman video? Well, I've got an answer for that. I, like yourself, am a subscriber to the Night Watchman and I absolutely love his videos. I just happen to be in the Northern Territory I can help the Night Watchman out with a few of his videos. While I'm up here, I might go around to some of those cricket fields that he's always making videos about because I love those videos. So, we decided to collaborate. Thanks Nighty for giving me the opportunity, really appreciate it. So as I said, I'm here at Noonamar, the Strauss Airfield, which is along the Stewart Highway. And if you've ever driven up along the Stewart Highway to Darwin, you're gonna find airfields scattered everywhere. But this airfield, made in 1942 by American and Australian engineers, it's got a lot of fascinating history behind it. You know, it was built to help protect the top end from Japanese attack. From 1942 onwards, Australia was pretty vulnerable, so that's no surprise. But there is one little surprise at this airfield that, well, I said to my mate, hey, Night Watchman, I reckon you should make a video about this. So, Let's check it out. So it's a couple of k's south drive, not too far, and then it's just a little trek through the bush. Gee whiz, what are you doing to me, Nighty? Oh, look at that. I think this is it. Well, here we are, and just behind me is what this is all about a lost oval of the Northern Territory, the Noonamar Oval. But as much as I'd love to tell you about the history of this particular piece of ground in the Northern Territory, I don't think that I'm essentially qualified. This is the moment where I call out the Night Watchman to the crease. Gloves on, helmet on, pads on, nighty, you're up. Thanks, Threads. In early 1942, Imperial Japanese forces had stormed through Southeast Asia in their quest for territorial expansion in the Asia Pacific to arrive on Australia's doorstep. On the morning of the 19th of February, 1942, Japanese planes overseen by the commander of the Pearl Harbor attack launched a surprise assault on the strategically important but lightly defended Australian port of Darwin. Targeting naval vessels, airfields and military and civilian infrastructure in an attempt to neutralise Darwin as a base of operations, significant losses were suffered with up to 300 people killed, including civilians. In response to the threat of further Japanese attacks and possible invasion, the defence of Australia's north was bolstered in the months following the shock attack, including the deployment of units from the United States Air Force. Airstrips were constructed in the south along the road to Darwin, including the area of 27 Mile, later known by the Aboriginal name Noonamah. On the 27th of April, 1942, while intercepting a Japanese raid on Darwin, US Air Force Captain Allison W. Strauss of the 8th Pursuit Squadron was killed when his P-40 Warhawk crashed into Darwin Harbour. In honour of Captain Strauss, the newly constructed and operational airstrip at 27 Mile officially bore his name in May 1942. In what has become a tradition for Australian service personnel since the Boer War and Gallipoli, cricket became a recreational activity during downtime. Stationed near the Strauss airfield, the 27th Australian Infantry Brigade cleared out an area of scrub especially to hold cricket matches on. The contests at the 27 mile ground were held between units 
to maintain morale, create friendly rivalries, but also to raise funds for wartime charities. Air raids on the north would continue, with Strauss itself being targeted a number of times until November 1943, when Japanese commanders turned their attention away from Australia. Eventually, the cricket ground located near the Strauss airfield would bear the name of the American who sacrificed his life in defence of Australia. Travelling from Marysvale, Ohio, members of Captain Strauss's family unveiled a plaque at the Strauss cricket ground on Anzac Day 2004. In modern times, cricket matches are still occasionally played at Noonamar between military and local teams, often as an Anzac Day commemoration. Back to you, Threads. Thanks, Nighty. I think you would have hit me over the boundary for six with every delivery, but your deliveries are always perfect. If you like videos about Australian history, particularly cricket, military and true crime and other little things, then subscribe to The Night Watchman. Absolutely great channel. And if you like videos about quirky things about Australia, history, convict history, military history, music history, all sorts of history, then subscribe to Threads at says. Videos coming out every week, shorts all the time. Enough to keep you happy. We think so anyway. Thanks, Nighty. Thanks for this collaboration. It's been fantastic. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.